Zhi Hao Wen, a CS PhD okay. student from Singapore Management University. I'm going to share our Triple W 2022 paper trend, temporary event, and uh, no data mix for graph representation learning, a work made by me and Dr. Yan Fang. First, let me give an introduction of the problem to be solved and the existing challenges. Temporal graph representation learning has drawn significant attention for the prevalence of temporal graphs in the real world. However, most existing works resort to taking discrete snapshots of the temporal graph or are not inductive to deal with new nodes or do not model the existing effects, which is the ability of events to influence the occurrence of another event. In this work, we propose trend, a novel framework for temporal graph representation learning driven by temporal event and uh, node dynamics and uh, built upon a Fox process based graphing neural network. Here is a toy temporal graph of research collaborations that evolve through time. Each node is a researcher and each link is a collaboration between researchers formed at a specific time. Our main task here is temporal ink prediction. In other words, we need to predict whether there will be a link between node i and node j at a future time t. Point process models a discrete sequential events by assuming that historical events before time t can influence the occurrence of the current event. Conditional intensity function characterizes the arrival rate of sequential events, which can be defined as the number of events occurring in a small time window given all the historical events. Fox process is a typical temporal point process with a conditional intensity function defined as follows. Where mu t is a base intensity of a particular event, showing the Simultaneous event arrival rate at time t, and uh, kappa is a kernel function that models the time decay effect of past history on the current event, which is usually in the form of an exponential function. The conditional intensity function of Fox process shows that the occurrence of current event does not only depend on the event of last time step, but is also influenced by the historical events with time decay effect. Such property is desirable for modeling the link formation sequences because the current link formation can be influenced with higher intensity by the more recent events, while the events occurring in longer history would contribute less to the current occurrence of target neighbors. Then let's look at the proposed methodology. In this section, we present a novel framework for Temporal graph representation learning called trend. Building upon a Fox process based GN, the proposed trend is able to model the graph wide link formation process in an inductive manner. More importantly, it integrates event and node dynamics into the model to fully capture the individual and the collective characteristics of events. In the context of temporal graph, the Fox process is able to model the graph-wide link formation process, specifically whether not i and uh, j form a link at time t can be quantified by the conditional intensity of the event as follows. In particular, mu i j t is the base rate of the event that uh, i and j form a link at time t. h i t is the site of historical events on i which is related to time t and we call J prime a historical neighbor of i. Gamma J prime T prime represents the amount of excitement induced by a historical neighbor J prime at time t on the current event. Note that we are treating each link as undirected and thus the current event is influenced by historical neighbors of both not i and j. Kappa T minus T prime is a kernel function to capture the time decay effect which is related to time T defined in the form of an exponential function where sigma bigger than zero is a learnable scalar to control the rate of decay. Next, temporal graph representations are used to come 
materialize the aforementioned conditional intensity, given the temporal representations of nodes i, j, r, time t, denoted as h, i, t, h, j, t, respectively, the conditional intensity can be generated from a transfer function f, which should meet the following criteria. The input representations h, i, t, h, j, t should be derived from not only their inherent self information, but also from their historical neighbor's information. We materialize the temporal repetitions using GNs owing to their inductive nature and superior performance. Here we present a temporal formulation of GN in consideration of the repetitional criteria listed above, so that the learned temporal repetitions can be used to materialize the conditional intensity. Formally, let h i t l be the embedding vector of node i at time t in the else layer, which is computed by the following equation, where sigma is an activation function, for example, ReLU, w self i is a learnable weight metric to map the embedding of node i itself from the previous layer, and uh, W hist L is another learnable weight matrix to map the embeddings of historical neighbors. And uh, kappa i t minus t prime captures the time decay effect based on the time kernel with softmax. The key to materialize the conditional intensity is to fit a transfer function f on top of the temporal gn layers. More specifically, we use a fully connected layer, FCL, that is, as follows, where theta e denotes the parameters of the fully connected layer. The input is an element-wise square, which tends to achieve better empirical performance. And lastly, the FCLE employs a sigmoid activation to ensure the transfer function is positive. Meanwhile, we recognize that each event can be unique in its own way as different links are often formed out of different contexts and time periods. To deal with the diversity of events, we propose to learn an event prior theta e that aims to encode the general knowledge of information such that it can be quickly specialized to fit the individual characteristics of each event, particularly during the adaptation the event prior theta e will transform into event ijt specific parameters theta e ijt as the left function shoes and the transformed theta e ijt will further parameterize fcle as a transfer function and materialize as a conditional intensity we consider future-wise linear modulation, which employs a fine transformations, including scaling and shifting on the event prior conditions on event-specific temporal repetitions. Specifically, we employ fully connected layers to generate the scaling operator alpha and the shifting operator beta. The output alpha, beta, are boost is it a e-dimensional vectors being used to transform the event prior into event ijt specific parameters by element-wise scaling and shifting. Given any event that has occurred, its loss is defined as follows. Where we sample a negative node k according to the distribution pn and q is the number of negative samples for each positive event. While events can be individually different, they do not occur in isolation. Particularly, links are formed to connect nodes, which means that their behaviors are collectively bounded by their common nodes. Thus, we propose to govern the collective characteristics of nodes as a node level, capture the event tendency of nodes. More specifically, the node dynamics of a node at time t can be quantified by the number of new events occurring on the node at time t. We build an estimator for 
No dynamics with a fully connected layer trying to fit the number of new events on a given node at a specific time t. We optimize all parameters theta jointly, including those of the temporal gene layers theta g, the event prior theta e, the transformation model theta tau, and the estimator of no dynamics theta n based on the following laws. Next, let's look at our experiment. We use four public temporal graph data sites. Public message is an online social network in which an event is a user sending another user a private message. Set helps is a citation graph about high energy physics theory in which an event is a paper citation. Wikipedia is a Wikipedia graph in which an event is a user editing a page. Taobao is an e-commerce platform in which an event is a user purchasing an item. We compare a trend with a competitive suit of baseline from three categories. First one is a static approaches, literally on the static graph formed from the training events without considering any temporal information. Second category, temporal approaches, they train on the temporal graph. The third one, Fox process based approaches, they similarly train on the temporal graph. However, they leverage the node reputation to model the conditional intensity of events based on the Fox process. As can be seen, in general, our model performs the best among all methods, demonstrating the benefits of event and all dynamics. We make two further observations. First, among static methods, we can see that GN-based models tend to perform better as they are inductive in nature, and their basic passing scheme is able to integrate both node features and graph structures. Second, temporal approaches are generally superior to static approaches showing the importance of temporal information. Moreover, the Hox process-based approach achieved strong performance, demonstrating that the Hox process is ideal for modeling the temporal evolution on graphs. To understand the contribution of each component in our trend, we study the following applied models on the task of temporal link prediction. First one is called the TGN, which only stacks two temporal gen layers and optimizes the inner product of node pairs. And second, TGN plus H, which adds the global transfer function for the Hox process to GN. And uh, then TGN plus H plus E and the TGN plus H plus N, which further models the event and the node dynamics on top of TGM plus H, respectively. Note that uh, TGM plus H plus E use the uh, event specific transfer function. As shown in the figure, the performance uh, generally increases when we gradually add more components to TGM. This shows that every component is useful for modeling temporal graphs. In this paper, we study the problem of temporal graph regression learning, specifically. We propose a trend, a novel framework for temporal graph regression learning driven by event and node dynamics on a Hox process based GN. Trend is inductive and able to capture a holistic view of the link formation process. More importantly, it integrates both the event and the node dynamics to respectively capture the individual and the collective characteristics of events for a more precise modeling of the temporal evolution. Finally, we conducted extensive experiments on four real-world data sites and demonstrated the superior performance of our trend. Mm, that's all. Thank you for your attention. All right. Um, thank you for Quark Tone for, pre for uh, pre playing these previous recorded videos. Um, so since this presentation is uh, uh, 
it's uh, so since there are no printed pre presenters uh, here, um, so we will just skip uh, the Q and A. Sorry, I'm here. Oh, sorry, you're here. Nice. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, so okay, I will switch the time to the audience if there are any questions for the paper. Okay. If, if there are no questions from the audience, I actually have one. So uh, okay, when I was going through the uh, paper and the presentation, and it looks like your uh, the proposed framework mostly handles the uh, new node, uh, you know, the new or new nodes that are added uh, yes. in the in the temporal manner. I'm just wondering, you know, in the real world time, in the real real world life, the temporal mm -hmm. graphs can have nodes that are being um, consecutively added or deleted. How, have you considered, you know, the, 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 the uh, situation of the node deletion? Oh, okay. Um, uh, yes, uh, in real life, there may there may be such situation of uh, node deletion, but uh, we we leave this as a future work, and uh, we we just following the uh, existing existing ways of only considering the new added nodes. I see. But I think that, that, that could uh, handle most of the cases, but uh, yeah, it, it would be really nice to see if, uh, if, you, if the future work could handle the, um, the more general cases with, mm -hmm. uh, with no deletions. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you for your question. Yeah. Any other questions from the audience? If no, I think uh, it's also the time for our second paper. Um, so um, thank you. Maybe for I can stop uh, sharing it. Sure. Thanks. Thank you, Zhihao. <laughs>